Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How's everybody doing? It is Sunday. Woo, look at the frizz. Look at the frizz going on. It is Sunday, January 6th, and <clears throat> I have a couple of things. Uh, I went to Joanne Fabrics yesterday, because again, I can't stay away from that place, and I had a $5 reward, so I had to use that. And I was watching Petra from uh, the Sosa family, and she said she had gone to Joanne and she got the Big Twist Gradients um, buckets of yarn, I'll show you in a second, for $5.99. So I went there to check. Um, the price on the shelf said $9.99, but I took it to the price checker and it was $5.99. All right, so the first things that I got from Joanne are these Big Twist Gradient buckets. I think you guys can see them. And Petra got a couple of these. They only had three, three different colors, I think, at my Joanne, so I picked up one of each. Also, you get a total of 580 yards. It's 100% acrylic, and this one is called charcoal. It says you can make a hat and a scarf out of one of these, and these are the colors. So it goes from like a dark, 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 dark gray all the way up to a light gray. So that's one of them, that's pretty. And it goes from kind of like a darker blue and then different shades of blue. That one's really pretty. And then this one is called Rose, but it's not my favorite color. My name's Rose. Um, this one is called Rose and it goes from darker pinks to lighter pinks. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those, but for $5.99, I couldn't pass that deal up. Okay, so then, I think I told you guys before, I'm kind of a button snob. Not really snobby, but I really like buttons. So I found some buttons. Again, they're all still half off if you have the app or the coupon. So all buttons were 50% off. So I got uh, some of these. And then, oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, I don't even know if you could see that properly. It is purple and it is about one and three eighths inch. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Premier Home Cotton Yarns are on sale, well they were on sale, and they were on sale for a dollar a piece. So I got these three pinks. I'm gonna try and make some um, dishcloth sets, washcloth sets with them. I'm hoping to do some more craft shows this year, so I'm trying to get cotton, a cotton stash built up. <laughs> and then I also make those um, cowls from Bob Wilson 123 and I like to use the Lion Brand Hometown USA. So I got two of these in the clearance section. <clears throat> Excuse me, this one is called Fresno Tweed and it's a little bit browner than what it shows up on camera. The other one didn't have a ball band, but that's okay. And then the only other yarn I bought so you guys, if you saw my video the other day, you saw that I got these crazy bright colors from one of the yarn bags, mystery yarn bags. And so I thought this color might work. I got this from Joanne, Red Heart Super Saver Stripes, <clears throat> and it's called Bright Stripe. So I'm thinking that might work, but I only bought one because I wasn't sure. And then I went through my stash and I found some other ones that have neon in them. And so I wanna see what you guys think. So this one is the neon, I'm sorry, this one is called Bright Stripe. And then I have some other ones. That one has a lot of black in it. This one is called Neon Stripes. I kind of like that one. Then there's this one. This one is called Black Light. That one's pretty cool too. And then there's this one, which is holy mackerel, it's called Day Glow. I think I'm veering more towards the ones with the black color in it because that'll tone it down a little bit. And then I have one more. I don't think this one really goes. 
This is Red Heart Stripes Parrot Stripe. So you guys let me know which one you think works best. The Parrot Stripe one, I think I have like two or three of these. All those other ones, I only have like one. So I'm not sure what I'm still gonna make. I think I'm gonna make a blanket with it because that would be holy mackerel. <clears throat> and then I found this in my stash. This is from uh, Hobby Lobby Crafter Secret and it is called Are We There Yet? So I was thinking I could add that to the pile too. It is more of a fluorescent -y, bright orange. All right. And then I do have some whips to show you. So I was making making seven baby blankets out of Sweet Rolls yarn. And this blanket, these next three blankets are actually from the Nervous Knitter. And her video tutorial is called How to Crochet the Basic Granny Square. So I will put a link in the description box below for that video. And she just basically goes over how to make a square, but I just turned it into a huge blanket. So here, let's see if I can stand up and show you guys. Again, like for the other two that I showed yesterday, it's gonna be a baby blanket, but it's really big. But you know what, babies grow bigger, so it's fine. So it's just a basic granny square. That's the one, the first color. And that one was using Premier Sweet Rolls. And the color for that one is Kiwi Pop. All right, then I have this one, which I don't know is really a baby blanket color because it's reds. This one is the Cherry Swirl. Sorry about my ends. I haven't gotten that far yet. So I like that one a lot. I think it's pretty. I don't know that I would call that one a baby blanket though. And that one is, yes, Cherry Swirl. And then the last one I did that's a square is this one. I think this one is so pretty and it's pretty neutral, I think. You can give this to a boy or a girl. And in each of these I used uh, Karen One Pounders for the center and then I'm gonna use the Karen One Pounders for the border. So this one is using Melon Pop. That's that one. So those are the three blanket whips that I have. <clears throat> and then you guys might remember that I got this mandala cake for Christmas. It's called Troll. Well, I've used a lot of it since the last time we chatted. And I decided to make a, I found a triangle shawl pattern from the Proper Pineapple and it's called the Boomerang Shawl. And I will leave a link in the description box below for that. And I'll show you this one so far. Uh, this was the start of the cake. So, whoops. This one might need to be blocked. So there's the tip, and then it just increases, increases on one side. It stays decreased on one side and increased on the other side. And I am at the green. Let's see if I can show you. So I am at this point, and I'm almost done with this skein. And I think the cool thing about this pattern is that once you're done, you're just done with the skein. You don't, I mean, if I wanted to, I could add more, but this is all I have left on this one. Okay, so that's it for whips. And that was all I had for whips, the granny square blankets, the mandala, um, and that. Okay, so this is my fourth video, and I wanted to send a special shout out to Summer from Summer's Tips and Stitches. She gave me a shout out on one of her videos, and um, a lot of people came over to check me out, so I appreciate that. Hi, Summer, how you doing? Uh, she's a Packers fan, but it's okay. I'm a Bears fan, go Bears. And I also wanted to send a special shout out to the following people, which I will also link their 
channels in the description box below. We had an awesome time last night. Um, Melanie from Stitched My Lou decided she wanted to do kind of like a live thing, but she didn't want to go live. So she found this program called Zoom. And we all got on this program called Zoom and it's uh, like video conferencing. It was so much fun. So I wanted to send a shout out to Melanie at Stitched My Lou, uh, Becky from Funny Farm Crochet, Mary at Mary's Crochet and Chit Chat, and Carrie Penny. And I don't remember what the name of her channel was, but she's, she was pretty awesome. Um, her husband tried to scare her while we were all on video. It was hilarious. Okay, so hello to you guys. Thanks for watching and chatting with me last night. I had a blast. And then um, a couple of things like that I'm really interested in doing, and I don't know if you guys are interested in doing, um, but I like to do something with Plarn. So Plarn is plastic yarn, and I'm just gonna show you two of my bags that I have. And then if you guys are interested, I can show you how to make Plarn. Um, but it's basically just plastic grocery bags that you cut apart and you turn them into yarn and then you can crochet with them. So I use these when I go to the grocery store and it holds a lot of stuff and it's super strong, obviously, because it's made of plastic bags. So this is one of my Plarn bags. This one is all made with Target bags. So let me know if you're interested in that. That's one of them. And then I have a second one that I'm, actually this is my third one I made, but the first one I gave to my brother-in-law, and so he's got that one. Uh, this is the second, the third one I made, <clears throat> but I, it's one of the ones that I've kept. And this one's pretty big, and it's got gray stripes. I used a combination of Kohl's bags and Walmart bags to make the stripes on that one. And this one's really super big. So I probably wouldn't put super heavy things in this one. But again, it's made of plastic bags. It's super, super strong. So um, let me know if you're interested in learning about Plarn, how to make it and what to do with it and things like that. And I'd be more than happy to do a video on that. And then I wanted to also say that I'm so new at this and I can't even believe this, but I was going to do a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers. Um, but because of Z from Zelda NRJ3 and Summer from Summer Tips and Tips and Stitches, I haven't even been drinking. I'm just kidding. I don't drink. <laughs> um, I have 163 subscribers. How is that even possible? That's crazy. So I was going to do a giveaway at 100 but I've already passed 100. Oh my God, are you kidding me? So I have a bag here. I'm just gonna show you the bag. I'm not gonna show you what's in it. And I wanted to do a giveaway when I hit 200 subscribers. So please subscribe, like, and share this video. Um, it's probably only gonna be open to the US, but we'll talk about that in another video. Um, but if you could do that for me, I would really appreciate it. And let me know, number one, if you want to see anything on Plarn. And I think that's it. Oh, there is one other thing. I am so kind of burnt out by the granny stitch and the virus stitch and things like that. So what I was thinking of doing was learning some new stitches for blankets. So I have a book of stitches and what I was gonna do is I was going to do some sample swatches of them and show them to you guys and see if you want me to do a tutorial on how to do those stitches. So if that's something of interest to you, please let me know. So in the comments below, let me know if you're interested in Plarn which is the plastic yarn. And then let me know if you're interested in tutorials on new stitches. And I think that's it. And I wanna say happy Sunday to everybody. Go Bears. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.